following program contains dangerous stunts that should not be reenacted. Viewer discretion is advised. On this edition of Whacked Out Videos, meet one flabulous dancer who's not afraid to jolt and jiggle. This rocker turns up the throttle on this bottle. Ever wonder what happens when someone decides not to go to college? Then, funny-looking freaks get their 15 minutes of fame. See how these crotch-crunching crazies get their kicks. Little bikes and big spills. Women, mud, and rubber. See these female daredevils delve into the deep end. Plus, we'll give you your daily dose in the countdown. Life's a snap. And Whacked Out Videos is going down right now. In the course of human history, man has mastered many seemingly impossible obstacles on the march of progress. The sound barrier, human flight, even space travel. But one goal has remained elusive. When will man have the ability to ski down a stair rail? Many brave souls have sacrificed their faces, their reputations, and yes, even their packages in the pursuit of this dream. Some have come close. Most fail miserably. Some may ask, why not just stick to skiing down hills? To these people I say, why don't you stick to being lame? If bold adventurers like Thomas Edison had just stuck to what was safe and what was known, you'd be watching this show in a cave right now. So we salute you, brave rail skiers. You are the fractured backbone of this country. Time for another behind-the-scenes peek at the lifestyles of the not-so-rich or famous. It's Whacked Out Video Celebrities You've Never Heard Of. We go now to the Jack Ball County Fair, where popular local folk rock band Yesterday's Tomorrow has just finished their third encore. They're running way over time, and the next act, Bad Dog, led by Angus McThrash, is eager to take the stage. How eager? This eager. In retrospect, maybe it wasn't the best idea to put this group of heavy metal misfits on the same bill as a polite Christian rock band. But I guess that's why pencils have erasers. The crowd seems to be enjoying themselves. The bigger moral of the story here, never mess with a guy in a dress. When it comes to eating disorders, most media attention gets focused on anorexia, bulimia, and the distorted body image issues suffered by mostly young ladies. No matter how thin they get, they still think they're too fat. But there's an equally insidious scourge afflicting young men, where the victims believe that no matter how many extra pounds they pack on, their bodies totally rock. Scientists call it SSS, or Steven Seagal Syndrome. These jiggly gigolos parade around major urban areas like Gamecocks, convinced that every woman they see is attracted to them. In their minds, they look like Marky Mark, when in reality, it's closer to Porky Pig. <laughs> Curiously, their bizarre overconfidence does often lead to hookups, which is why public health officials have started this Skin Deep program, encouraging young women to date only actual hard bodies. Many of these XXL guys want to tone down their triple X antics, but recovery from SSS is a slow, painful process. It involves diet, exercise, drug therapy, counseling, and attendance of Chris Farley film festivals. Until the proper levels of shame can be restored, we all live in danger of coming face to face with raw, unharnessed man boobs. And no one wants that. 
All right, time once again to thin the herd and raise our insurance rates. Here's a stunt so daring, so heroic, so stupid that I shouldn't have to tell you. Don't try this at home. Dave Mira, Matt Hoffman, Jamie Bestwick, Zach Warden. These are the living legends of this awesome sport. Their names are carved at the very top of the BMX pyramid. And way down at the bottom of that BMX pyramid, buried under some junk in the sub-basement, you'll find another name. Bud Dickman. There's hardly a square foot of Cincinnati that doesn't have a drop of Bud's blood on it somewhere. And yet he just keeps on going. Bud, I love your heart. But maybe BMX tricks aren't your thing. Maybe try a different hobby. Knitting is popular these days. Here comes my favorite Bud Thud. Not only does he bash his face, his bike ends up in 18 inches of filthy, disgusting, stagnant pool water. That'll be fun to fish out. You probably won't even notice the smell after a while. Come on, bud. It's a sign. Give it up. But the very next day, would one of his friends please put him out of his misery and steal his bike? Please? Please? All right, culture lovers, time once again for Whacked Out Video's Brain Dead Theater. Constipation. It can strike anyone, anytime. But enough about me. Let's talk about funny faces. No, these people aren't being forced to watch Britney Spears on the VMAs over and over. This is the World Gurning Championship. Gurning, as if you didn't know, is the art of facial transformation. The idea isn't to make the funniest face possible. What the judges are looking for is the person with the biggest difference between their normal resting face and their funny or gurned face. That horse collar thing is called a braffin. Why must people gurn through a braffin? Because that's the way it's always been for hundreds and hundreds of years. Your winner for the fourth consecutive year was local boy Tommy Mattinson, who went from fairly handsome to rat-faced freak in the blink of an eye. Careful, Tommy. It's true what your mom said. Your face really can freeze like that. When we whack back, going mad with mouse traps. <laughs> See cow pies fly. Plus, blasting off in Bangkok where rinky dink rockets are all the rage. That's next. Black Dog Video's reign of ridiculousness rolls on. Whenever someone says, I wonder what this button does. Our cameras will be there to record every explosive moment of the aftermath. Documenting the dumb deeds of dim-witted doofuses is our business. And so far, everything's coming up. Whacked Out Videos. Welcome back to Whacked Out Videos. If you thought the space race ended in the 60s, you need to pull your head out of your Sputnik. Lots of countries are still looking to colonize the stars from France to China to India. Even this little remote village in Thailand is getting in on the act by launching a series of handcrafted tree rockets. They're hoping to put a log on the moon by 2048. This is like that one Gilligan's Island where Buzz Aldrin washed up in the lagoon. Each launch is surrounded by a weekend festival featuring mud wrestling, funky parades, and a salute to that space age invention, the payphone. Festival organizer, astronaut, and swinging bachelor, Fong Gula Gondry explains his fascination with the heavens. With billions of stars, there must be life on other planets. There might even be a planet full of eligible foxy ladies. I won't rest till I find it. Party on, Fong. 
Here's living proof that anybody with a video camera and half a brain can get on TV. Oh, it's Whacked Out Video's Amateur Hour. You know the old cliche, if you build a better mousetrap, the world will beat a path to your door? Well, it's just plain not true. There's been dozens of superior rodent snuffing designs introduced over the years, and they've all flopped. People just love the snapper. There's something so seductive about it. The evil banality of it all. It's a simple machine whose only purpose is to inflict pain. And when that spring is pulled back, you can literally cut the tension with a finger bone. Very impressive, Beethoven. So much for your scholarship to Juilliard. The best part is, while all this is going on, mice are having a total end of summer cheese kegger in the kitchen. Two thirds of the world is covered by water, the rest is covered by us. Time to gather up all the goofy goings on from around the globe in a little segment we call The Whacked Out Videos Passport. Sporting goods are pretty high tech these days. Your average set of modern golf clubs is more scientifically advanced than the first space shuttle. So it's nice to find a sport where the equipment is still 100% handmade by local craftsmen. Of course, when I say craftsmen, I mean cows. And when I say handmade, I mean... Never mind. We're in the Vendez marshlands of France for the annual Cow Patty Olympics, where hundreds of tourists from all over Europe gather like flies to watch the locals pitch pasture pizzas. And trust me, these sun-baked meadow muffins are surprisingly aerodynamic. Some fly over 100 feet. But then this grandma decided to give it a try, and that's when the poop really hit the fans. Gross as it may seem, everyone was over the moon with happiness just tossing their cattle quesadillas. Am I missing something? What's the appeal? I don't know. Why don't you go home and watch NASCAR with your obese children, you judgmental American swine? Easy, Fifi. It's an honest question. I don't know if any of these people can really be called winners, but first prize was a case of hand sanitizer. Au revoir. All right, put on your thermal onesies and point your compass north, because we're mushing our way up to Canada. And when you're talking Canada, you're talking hockey. The Canucks national pastime. Oh, you gotta love this game. The speed, the skill, the guarantee that 14 seconds into the first period, someone will say something rude about Celine Dion, and it's on! I don't know about you, but nothing revs up my Zamboni like a good hockey fight. All that grabbing and gouging, and there's always a chance you'll see a guy get a hockey stick shoved up his Gretzky. Now, if it upsets you to watch a bunch of testosterone-crazed Canucks wailing on each other, relax. There's referees there to keep things from getting out of hand. There's even one ref whose only job is to turn this senseless violence into a crowd-pleasing cuddle fest. Aww, these knuckleheads just needed a hug. Up next, two trampolines and one mini bike and moron. You do the math. Women in rubber in peril. Oh my! Plus, the countdown is coming at you. That's coming up. Welcome back to Whacked Out Videos. Whacked Out Videos takes you now to the intersection of boneheadedness, where people much dumber than you perform ridiculous acts of idiocy. Quick! Name the one piece of recreational equipment that's responsible for more emergency visits than a trampoline. That's right, the mini bike. But hey, that doesn't mean this will necessarily end badly. Yeah, right. The real brainstorm here was finding a second trampoline and pushing them together. Who in the heck has access to two trampolines whose name isn't Ringling, Barnum, or Bailey? You heard of Evil Knievel? 
Meet Cupid McStupid. He didn't just cut his shin, he split it open to the muscle. Which is why he only did six or seven more jumps before he threw a bandage on it. Here we find Brandy and Debbie. Just a pair of typical nature girls out for a hike in their latex mini dresses and stiletto pumps. Nothing unusual about that. But what is crazy is what's about to happen to them. Let's take a quick quiz. Will they A, start making out, B, get axe murdered, C, make out and then get axe murdered, or D, get caught in quicksand? <laughs> Believe it or not, it's D. Very surprising for such a pair of seasoned hikers. I didn't even think there was such a thing as quicksand. It sure isn't very quick. But it is true, that thing they say. The more you struggle, the harder it is to get out. Just like algebra class. Just like women's underwear. If I was them, I would just stand still until I was chest deep and then float to safety on the buoyancy of my prodigious chest. Then I'd start making out with myself like crazy. All right, all you wackadoos and wackadoons, strap on your brain buckets, because it's time for The Countdown. Today, the top five perks of being a Whacked Out Videos employee. Number five, complimentary lap dances from Larry the Weird Intern. Number four, forget casual Fridays. We have Mousetrap Mondays. Number three, in the summertime, take a dip in the office pool. Number two, unlimited use of the company crotch rocket. And the number one perk of being a Whacked Out Videos employee, this is what happened to the girls from accounting at our last office retreat. Well, there you have it. Five more reasons why, next to Boil Drainer, this is my favorite job ever. Coming up... When you call the Auto Club in Lithuania, look what you get. That's next. This is Whacked Out Videos. Constantly crisscrossing the globe to collect the choicest nuggets of nutty clips. Ceaselessly searching, pausing only occasionally for a light snack. Or maybe to check our email. And perhaps a quick nap here and there. Otherwise, it's search, search, search. That's us. Whacked Out Videos. Welcome back to Whacked Out Videos. All right, you video voyeurs. Since you deserve the best, or at least the best we can afford, time to pick the lock and pick a winner. From the Whacked Out Videos Archive. Meet Antanas Contremus, Lithuania's Mr. Strongbeard. His facial hair has the strength of six ZZ tops. Antanas noticed his unusual talent in 2001 when he lost a 14-pound sledgehammer at work and found it two weeks later lodged in his beard. No commercial brand of razor can cut through that massive thicket. When Antanas needs a trim, he has to head down to the old sawmill. Today, he'll be attempting his toughest feat yet, towing a jeep full of soldiers weighing over 4,500 kilos, which equals a lot in real pounds. This takes a great deal of concentration. One false move and he'll be left with a puny goatee. And I think, yes, by a whisker, he's doing it. That jeep is moving. And Tannis Contremus has set a new world beer pulling record. I wish I could share the excitement with my beard, but we are not on speaking terms right now. It knows why. Things got awkward at the after party where there were only two attendees, Antanas and his beard. So there you go. Another collection of video clips put together in a desperate attempt to entertain you. It's happy hour somewhere, and I'm going to find it. 
But first, gotta do the fade out. Produced and distributed by Mighty Oak Entertainment.